Hello, my friend, and welcome. I'm excited to be with you today to talk about personal brands defined, what they are, and how to create one. Your personal brand is that solid and consistent impression that comes to mind at the mere mention of your names. When someone says your name, what comes to mind? Take a moment to think about that. What comes to mind at the mere mention of your name? The first step in creating that personal brand is to figure out who is your target audience. For those of you who are in the workforce or unemployed or underemployed, what company are you looking to work for? What customers are you looking to attract? Now figure out what are their needs, their wants, and their desires. That's the pain point. And now say, how can I solve that problem better than anyone else? So who's my target audience? What do they need, want, and desire? And now quickly determine how you can solve that pain better than anyone else. Most importantly, begin to look at what makes you different, what makes you more competitive than anyone else. You have to stand out from the crowd. It's important, be you unemployed or underemployed, and underemployed is becoming even a bigger epidemic because you've been on jobs that you don't want to be on. You're not making the money that you think your brand should yield. So what are you doing to stand out? Once you figure out what makes you so you're different, so different and unique, you clearly lay this out and communicate that value. It's important that you begin to communicate what's so valuable about your, your brand, what kind of return are you expected on that brand, and begin to tell as many people as possible, internally, externally, be it new customers, be it existing customers, your current employer, your aspirational employer, what's so different about you. Finally, you need to really refresh that brand so that it stays competitive. We can't have a, the same brand that we had in 1990 and expect to give results in 2013. So how do you keep that brand fresh and competitive? We'll talk a bit more about fresh and freshness in the next episode, but I want to challenge you today and just think about it for a quick second. It only takes a split second of fire to change your entire life. So if you begin to ignite the fresh fire inside, you will see the eruption of exponential personal, professional, and economic success. Thank you for joining us and until next time, keep the fire burning.